Hey P-Fam, this is a cooking day for me. I am so excited about my next meal that I'm going to make. I've wanted some of these uh, a while ago. My nephew is a vegan. A couple of my nephews are. And uh, they've been telling me about oyster mushrooms for a while. And then I saw someone else do them too. Tabitha did them at one time. I was like, man, I want some of those so bad. So I get to share with you today two of my greatest passions, my love for Christ and cooking. Cooking today. You know what I'm cooking? I'm going to share with you right now. Some oyster mushrooms. Okay, look at them. A lot of people don't like them. I like the look of them, everything about them, the touch of them, they're light as well. So I clean them off and I let them sit out and air dry. All right. And what I'm going to do now, this is like a three fourths of coconut milk. I'm going to make a batter. I'm going to put them in a liquid batter first. I've got some of my Autry's chicken batter here. I don't use flour. I've got a, about a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of adobo, and some granulated garlic that I'm going to put in a liquid batter, and I'm going to crack an egg in it as well. And then we're going to mix these all together. Here is my chicken, Audrey's chicken batter mix again here, uh, mixed in with some Italian breadcrumbs. All right, that's going to be the outside coating so they'll be crispy. All right, stand by as we get ready to put this all together. All right, here we go. We're going to mix everything together. I am going to put, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to crack this egg and put it in here with this milk. See what I did? Blend that together. This is almond milk. I showed you earlier the almond milk that I use. I stopped using regular milk. There's so much going on uh, with animals, other animals as well too, and so I just stopped using that right now. And my choice is almond milk, all right? So I'm gonna put the Audrey's chicken batter down in here and I'm gonna season it there. It's not a lot of it. That was the granulated garlic, the adobo, the black pepper. Now let's mix these together. I'm gonna mix these together. This is my dry mixture. Just so that I know that I got some flavor and some seasoning on these oysters. And here is my egg along with my coconut milk as well. And I'm gonna stop right there. That looks like that is a lot. Because I wanna put a wet mixture on with the dry mixture. And then I'm okay, I got my batter just right. Okay, right consistency that I want of it. There we go. I did taste it too, to make sure that it wasn't over seasoned as well because I added additional milk to it and that's okay. And so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the oyster mushrooms and put them in this batter, okay? And I'm gonna toss them inside this batter. Okay, that's all that I'm going to do. See there? So I can get them in the batter. I'm gonna do all of them like this as well. Put them all in here. And I'm gonna take them out of here and put them back in this coriander. And so that some of this can drip off of it. I don't want it to be dripping. Oh, they just look good. That's just enough batter just for these two. And move this over out of the way. It's a process here. Just turn them in here. Cause I don't wanna break them up. See how I'm doing them? just to make sure that I get the batter over. I don't want them to break. I want them to go, when I put them in the skillet too, to be whole, just the way that they are, okay? And I forgot to say, I've got some cornstarch here too to put into this dry mixture here. Cornstarch gives them that crisp, um, uh, crispy uh, crunch to them as well when you put the cornstarch on. Now this, this is layering this just right too. Wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just right, 
I love when food comes out and it just is starting to look right, but the end result is just going to be the whole story. We're going to push that forward a little bit for you to be able to see. Let's shift this around here like this. Now I'm going to take this batter. It's dredged a little bit. See there? Let's do this too because we did not take the time to, to blend this in. And we need to do that. I need to blend this cornstarch in with this. Once again, this is the Autry's chicken. Okay, this is the batter for that. I buy this. I added some Italian bread comes to it, and then I just put in about a teaspoon of cornstarch. All right, this. Now I'm going to take it and put an outer layer on it to really get it crunchy. Wow, wow, look at that, look at that, look at that. Skillet should be hot just about now. All right, so we melt it out here. Put this over here. Put it down on there. Man, oh man, I'm going to put a couple of these in at a time. Get the breading on it. All over it. Get the breading on it. So it'll come out crispy. Okay, that's what you want to do. Make sure this is crispy. That in the pan there. Let's get another one out here. I'm just gonna cook about three of them at a time. You know, you put too much stuff in at the same time, you lose the consistency of your heat. I want to make sure I got breading all over this. This is my first time doing these, so I want to make sure that I come out right with them. Washing my hands off, and we are taking a visit and a trip over to the stove and I want you to see it too when I drop them down in there so stand by okay that's pretty hot here we go let's put these in oh look at that there we go there we go now, while that's cooking I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put the second layer on all of these I can come over and eventually just drop these down in there too. Look at that, 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 oh my goodness, wow! Look at how good that looks. Lightly golden brown. Ooh, look at that big old piece right there. Oh my goodness. Look how good it looks. I'm just going to let them cook enough just to get brown on the side with it on. Don't want to overcook them at all. This is my first time experiencing this. Oh, it looks really good. It looks like a, a, a crispy piece of chicken, too. Look at this. Look at this. I got the fire set on medium, not on high, so I don't burn them up. Okay, and I don't want my oil to be burnt. But I'm going to turn them so that every part of them are fried, okay? While those are cooking, I'm battering up the other one. So the next round can go in there and those come out. They'll be ready. Right. Let's turn it again. Look at how that looks. I'm going to turn it on this side. Look at, look at there, look at there, look at there. I want them lightly golden brown all over. Look at that right there. 
That's the look that I'm looking for. I'm going to let them cook a little bit longer. Because I do have a batter on the inside of them. And I want to make sure that all the liquid in the batter is cooking out in the exterior. Sometimes just because it looks good on the outside does not mean that it's cooked on the inside as well. So let's let it cook a little bit longer. down in here so that it can absorb the oil. Okay. Okay. Just turn them one more time. Look at this. That's what I'm saying right there. You see that side? Yeah. This has to go on this side here. This there. It reminds me of oysters a little bit. How they look. And the sizing of them. Wow. Look at how nice and pretty it is. Cook a little bit more. I'm gonna like two more minutes and then we're done with these. Then we're gonna cook all the others. Once I pull these out, I'm gonna put the other ones in and then we're gonna come back with the final presentation. I'm gonna make some sandwiches out of these on some brioche bread with some lettuce and tomatoes on them. pretty it is. Take that out of there. There we go. Okay. Let's put the others in. There we go. All of the remainder of these should fit in here. Not on a hot fire again. Don't put your fire up high. Don't cook your food too fast. Just right, so you don't have to burn it, okay? Once those come out, we'll come back with the finished presentation. Okay, P fam, I'm back with the final presentation. And this is the oyster mushroom. I tasted it earlier. It's really good. Really good. So when you fry it down, it looks like a piece of chicken, or it reminds me of actual oysters that I cook. This is all of them together that is cooked. The, the flavor is phenomenal. I want to tell you that. I did a double batter on it, a liquid batter, and then I did a dry, a wet and a dry is what I did. In the wet, I seasoned up everything. I'll have all of the ingredients prepared before you. And here it is. Oh my God, I can't wait to taste it. And so I wanted to share that with you. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Mmm. It tastes just like chicken. It's no joke. Because it's so crispy. And it's light at the same time. It's so crispy and light. One more bite. Mmm. Mmm. It was worth the wait and preparing for it. I'm trying not to eat chicken. There are some alternatives for us. So I want you to take this recipe, try it out at home. A lot of times you can't get the oyster mushrooms but at farmer's markets. I've checked around in numerous stores and they don't have them at all. This is absolutely delicious and I'm not joking, it really is good. 
Okay, so please try it out. Looks are deceiving. Don't always look at something and say, mmm, try it out. When you cook it, it looks different as well. Hey, if you all don't know, I'm a pastor as well, and I love to cook. If you have not had the opportunity, you can find me on Pastor Marco Sims on YouTube. There you will find many sermons that I have, as well as lessons that we've gone through. Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, I believe we've done. Revelation, we've done the book of Revelation. Uh, we're doing Ezekiel now, I just haven't taped that and I should have taped that for you all to hear because we do have the service, the audio that we do on Duo just for my church family and I'm asking the Lord to lead me to open it up to everybody, to the public. But once again, you can find several of my sermons and, and lesson plans on Pastor Marco Sim. So check me out on there as well. I love doing what I'm doing. I love having the opportunity to share with you. Hey, try this sandwich out. I'm going to hold it up one more time for you to get an opportunity to see it. It's kind of big, but it's so delicious as well. You know, we eat big pieces of chicken as well, too. So it's really good. All right. Check me out. Like, share, subscribe. Once again, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to have one more bite before you, before we go. Like, share, subscribe. I can't believe how good it is. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you.